Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sardor and I am creating this series of courses to explain uh, the main concepts in identity and access management by showing you a uh, hands-on experience by using the tool which is uh, SailPoint Identity IQ, uh, which is also a one of the leading identity and access management tools in, in the market right now. So before we begin, I just want to go over briefly what is identity and access management for those who are new uh, to the field. So just think, think about four main things, applications, identities, access, and ma their management. So in any sorts of business is consist, consist of different types of employees. And for, for the business to operate properly, those employees will use different types of uh, applications, right? So our journey uh, in identity access management starts with the applications. So within the applications, we have different types of users. All employees need to have access to those um, applications. And based on their role or their position within the company, they may have a different level of access. And that's this is where uh, the, the complication came um came from and this is where we need some sort of management tool to manage all those identities and their access management um, i know it's kind of really obvious thing but let's look at one of the examples to understand the need for identity and access management so let's look at this example uh, of where we may need uh, we may feel the need for identity and access management tool Imagine this is Tom and Tom is running a small uh, online uh, business uh, just on Instagram. Tom has a user account, let's say a business account on Instagram where um, he just posts what items he has and uh, sells directly through Instagram. Uh, and as time goes by, um, when the business is doing good, Tom decided to create um, another uh, use another application which is Shopify. In Shopify, Tom created his website, uh, listed all his products, and he started selling uh, products of uh, Shopify. At the same time, uh, he also felt the need to have another account on PayPal where he will be managing all the uh, financial, financial um, actions of his uh, financial part of his business. And as you can see, in this case, Tom has three uh, different identities in these three platforms. And as time goes by, let's say Tom is doing really well, uh, he decided to have a person that will be focused on um, each of the uh, platform. And now he, let's say he hired, um, he hired uh, three additional uh, people Let's say one of them is accountant, uh, and he also hired somebody to do with like a uh, customer service. And then let's say he also hired somebody to do uh, social media. So now, in this case, uh, once these employees uh, join the company, uh, now Tom has to manually create or uh, those identities and give them access based on what they're going to perform uh, within the uh, company. And again, for, for, for Tom to communicate with all his employees, he may need, um, for example, he will have now he have to have accounts like a Gmail account for all of the employees and to communicate, he also introduced a uh, Slack, right? So as you can see, the uh, difficulty come from in this scenario when our employees are growing along with the applications or platforms that our business is also engaging with. Now each platform needs to have all those identities where the employees will have uh, will be using to um, operate uh, you know operate with the business now imagine this 
now business is growing even better now we will have a um, now we will have uh, we have created another types of employees and we hired uh, additional uh, five employees because when it was just it was just Tom and three uh, main um, how to say three main employees it was somehow manageable for Tom to create all those uh, all those access within those application but now let's say we have um, different we have hired a lot of employees now all of them needs to have access to the application based on their needs and just imagine uh, what what is happening with the uh, with the companies that has thousands and thousands of employees where they use uh, thousands and thousands of additional um, softwares so it's pretty uh, chaotic uh, scene to manage the security and access for for the whole uh, for the for the whole uh, industry and the company so this is where the need for the uh, tool which is called identity access management tool uh, comes from uh, and it's not only about with hiring employee and let's say some some of the um, employees will leave the company so once they leave it leave the company there should be someone that goes to each of the platforms to deactivate or delete the user so they have no longer access to those um, applications um, and besides that there might be a different types of industry let's like like, let, uh, like a healthcare or uh, like a bank or some kind of like insurance company where the industry is regulated by state or federal law so in order to stay compliant uh, and uh, to stay compliant with all the regulation all the companies uh, must go through the process which is called audit in audit they will check how they are managing the um, identity and their access how they are handling the personal data how they're handling with uh, financial data if there's any fraud or any possibility to fraud uh, all sorts of stuff so this is really complicated process and to handle all of this process we need a tool uh, that we're going to talk about which is cell point uh, identity iq so coming back to um, our tool which is cell point identity iq as i said the, it manages um, it deals with three main objects identities access and management so there are a lot of uh, industries they call this kind of items differently and uh, when they say something it means could be different uh, terminology but at the end of the day they are all about identities their access and management for example identities could be a user accounts links profiles access could be what those identities are allowed or not allowed to do uh, within the application they have access to which is entitlements um, and uh, those uh, basically those access are uh, you know grouped together based on the the employees have like roles and groups and it, it might be also called access profiles uh, depending on the company or industry and now when it comes to the management of those identities uh, there's a terminology that is cr CRUD operations CRUD basically means create read update and delete so uh, the main purpose or one of the purposes of identity access management tool is to create identities read identities from the application update applications when somebody leaves the company or somebody changed their position and delete or deactivate the identities when the person leaves the company and as i said before there's a uh, regulated industries reg regulated um, companies that should be compliant with the state and federal law so uh, I, I am tools help uh, to uh, analyze and generate a report uh, for the um, for the all sorts of um, audits whether it will be internal or external audit uh, teams and uh, besides that there might be a, a policy where for example we may ask all of our employees to update their password every three months for the security purposes and we can enforce all sorts of different policies by using the uh, identity and access management tool 
So as I said, there are multiple uh, different IEM tools uh, out there and there are differences between the tools and they are might be focusing on the different aspect aspects of identity and access management but at the, t at the at the same time they are uh, pretty much dealing with uh, managing the identities uh, within the companies and these tools are even though they are separate they have different purpose uh, at the same time there's a overlap between them and it can be integrated with each other depending on the um, company or business requirements so the the in this course we will be basically focusing on the um, identity iq uh, of the uh, version of the cell point uh, but at the same time you must know that there's also identity now version which is uh, we don't i don't want to go into the details but the main thing you you need to know that cell point has two different uh, versions of the iem tool identity iq and identity now the, the main core differences between them is identity now runs on the cloud it's a SaaS platform we, which we may um, cover uh, later what exactly it is when we are learning about uh, web services and web applications and identity iq identity iq is simply on-prem um, on-prem um, software where it will be running on the uh, company's internal uh, servers that we also gonna talk about in detail in the future uh, sessions so the course i'm trying to uh, i try to make this course as simple as possible uh, by removing all the unnecessary uh, unnecessary stuff you don't have to deal with and go into the you know the core of the identity and access management so we will start uh, i will be sharing my screen and i'll be showing how to we could set up the environment how we can configure it how we can onboard different so sorts of applications into SailPoint, how we can provision, provision the users, uh, what are the rules, workflows, and how we can integrate in uh, between them within SailPoint and with other applications uh, by uh, using the connectors, and what is the report functionality, and many more. So I hope um, it, this course will be this course will benefit you and thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you in the next sessions. Thank you.